Tuesday. Welcome back to another Bricking Up Brad live stream. Today we are working on part three of the Medieval Market Square, which this time we're going to be doing the cheese shop, which I'm very excited about. Uh, as always, just going to make sure that we are going. Sit start stream. Hit go live. You should be, you should be live. Why does YouTube hate me? Every time, every time I swear. Just close and open up the app again. Let's see here, are we live? Just make sure we don't got any volume on this. All right. Think we're good. Yes, we're good. Yay, what's up everyone? Um, so, we're going part three here. We're putting a lot of work into this. We've been doing about four bags a stream. We are about eight bags into this build right now. So not doing too bad. And as I've told you guys, I am building this until we are done. We are not, we, we are going live every day until I'm done with this. And I am getting this done, hopefully by like Sunday night, because I need to turn this back around into making content about it, so. All right. We got the first bag pull, pulled out here. We're taking a big, uh, what's this, 16 by 16 base plate. We're getting right into this stuff. Um, but yeah, it is great to be back on the live stream, even though it's literally just like 24 hours ago that I was live. <laughs> So big news since I went live last, I don't know if you guys all saw, but Peppa Pig is now a Lego theme. So who's excited for Peppa Pig Duplo sets? <laughs> uh, I mean, I get why they do it. I get it. I just, I think it's kind of funny. But uh, also my Alien Conquest video went live and a lot of you seem to have really enjoyed that one. So like, yeah. Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend watching it. Uh, it's a great little, it's great, it's not little because it's one of my longest videos uh, about um, the Lego Alien Conquest theme and, and everything around that and the lore and how it connects to other Lego themes. So it was a, it was a really fun video to do. So yeah, hopefully uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend checking it out. It's, it's already doing pretty well and I appreciate the uh, love and support on that video right now. You missed yesterday. Hey, you know what? That's why I'm live streaming so much. If you missed one stream, you can always hop on the next. So I feel like everyone's going to at least get a, uh, you know, anyone who actually wanted to hop on the live stream is getting a chance to hop on it. So what is up, Bearded Bricks? Um, what was I looking for? I was looking for a one by two. Um, Trying to find the right parts here. Getting distracted already. We're, we're going to try to see if we can do this. You know, maybe we'll start another bag if we get this all done in record time. I don't think so because I know myself in live streaming and uh, it takes me forever to do anything. So, you know what? No matter what, we're just going to we're just gonna hustle through and we're going to get as much done as possible. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully another four bags. I'd like to finish this instruction booklet by the end of this stream. So, we are on the first instruction booklet which kind of builds out uh, the building on the, the your right, I guess, my left. So that is the goal for today. This is like the biggest building of this, this building. This is the biggest part of this building, I'd say. So it's gonna be a pretty decent size, so. That's probably going to take a little bit longer, but also it looks like it's got some bigger parts in it, which, you know, will help even out the time frame on that. But guys, I am loving this new Wolfpack figure. We built him last week, and I got to say, I absolutely love that figure. I've definitely been looking at him a bunch. Um, and I can definitely say I <laughs> want more. I want so many more of that figure, or that torso. Uh, how do I like this set? I'm actually 
I'm happy with it. I don't feel like like it's anything bad. I feel like it's a so far because like for those who haven't been here, this is all I finished so far. Uh, plus the tree that goes with it and the wolf pack part. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I don't have many issues. I there's nothing to me that's been like this is a great. Uh, this is awful, and I mean, it's not any crazy building styles like um, the Lionite's Castle, but this set isn't going to be as crazy building styles. It's a completely different building schemes and stuff, and I'd almost compare it to, like, building modulars. Um, maybe a little less detailed and inside on some of them, but overall, I think it's great. So I'm having fun with it. I'm glad I bought it. I haven't regretted buying it yet, so... <laughs> But I'm only like, I'm close to halfway through the build. I'm almost halfway through the build after I build this part. So, you know, maybe I'll feel differently after building the next building. So, the color scheme on Broken Axe Inn is really bad. I feel like the colors blend way too much. I don't know. Again, I feel like that's something that I have to decide once I build that part. If you're color blind, the building will look very boring. I mean, true. No brown would look much better in the inn instead of the tan color. Uh, probably right. Yeah, I don't know. I know a lot of people complained about that. Um, I guess I'm just someone who's like, I can't judge it by the box art alone. I have to personally build it and see... Hey, how do I feel? Like, how do I feel when this is together? I think that doesn't bother me as much as... Like, it doesn't bother me a lot. So, I don't know. It, it just hasn't been an issue for me when I've looked at it. I built this long enough, right? Yep, yeah, okay, that's what... It, just double check in there. Uh, let's see, we need a three. I mean, if you're colorblind, I think a lot of these builds won't look fun at all. Oh, gotta pull that off and move it over one. All right, and then, nope, I was right where it should go. All right. Um, also, I'm very excited to announce on March 24th, if you're in the Hudson Valley area, um, Brickhouse Resellers is doing an awesome, uh, it's their two year anniversary and uh, they are bringing me out to just kind of hang out at the store all day and uh, during their two-year anniversary event. So I'm just going to be chilling there. So if you're close to the Hudson Valley or like New York City kind of, um, it's worth it to make the drive out. They're going to have games, cake, pizza, um, deals, a bunch of sets on sale. So a lot of great stuff. So if I, I recommend if you... Um, if you're close to that area, going out, and if you want to meet me, I'll be out there hanging out at the store all day. So, uh, very excited about that. And, uh, yeah, it should be a good time. I'm also going to be at Brick Universe Rochester uh, April, I think it's April 20th to the 21st. Some, it's that weekend. Look, it's just Brick Universe Rochester. So, if you're out near that area, that's going to be a good time. I'm going to have Frost Home with me. Uh, or what is done at Frostholm so far. So, yeah, a lot of fun events coming up. I, it's like, it's coming up into my, uh, usually what I call convention season, where I'm going to be like traveling a lot for different conventions, um, doing a ton of different stuff, uh, hanging out with a lot of different content creators. So I'm very excited. This is, this is like one of my favorite time seasons. Yeah, just because like, this so is when I get to see a lot of my friends, going to meet a lot of you guys. So, yeah, very excited for everything that's coming up. Thank you for showing my comment on the Alien Conquest Retrospective Spaceport. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I always try to respond to every comment. Um, sometimes I miss one or two, or I just don't know how to respond to a comment, but I always try to as much as I can respond to comments. I like the design that they do for this floor here. Um, in the cheesemaker shop. It's nothing crazy, but the way they did it looks really good in my opinion, so. 
What's up, Brick Bro? And I love that they give you like a great top-down perspective and the instructions on how to do it. All right, there is one thing. I don't know if I just made a mistake when building this and it's bothering me right now. But on this, I, I keep looking at it. So I have to like mention it. On this building, there's like, when it's closed up, you can kind of see a gap um, between where the two buildings connect like right here. And I don't, I mean, it's only when you're looking at this closely is it really that noticeable. But I don't know. I wish they had like found a way to like move it over just a tiny bit. Um, to I don't know, just to, like cover that up a tiny bit more. I get it. It's kind of the parts they used around that area and stuff. I don't know. I'm just looking at it right now, and it's just. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Um, the blacksmith set actually brought me back, uh, brought me into Lego castle. A lot of people think the scale is too big. What are your thoughts on that? Um, so yeah, I, I actually had the same experience with the blacksmith shop, um, where that was, so I got Barracuda Bay and I saw the blacksmith shop and I was like, that is so cool. I need to like, I need to get that. And so I bought that one and that was, I don't know, that one really brought me back in. The building experience was amazing for it. But personally, I think it's way too big for um, the scale with this. I think it's too big with the scale with the castle uh, and the scale with the town. I just, I don't know. To me, it, it's just too big. The set is amazing. It's a great display piece. But when it comes to the rest of the stuff, I don't know. It, it's, it's really cool, but I just think it's too big, personally. Uh, I bought the medieval town square day one at midnight. Super excited to build it. Nice. Are you still waiting for it in the mail or, um, uh, just waiting for a good time to build it? Conversational, uh, controversial question. Are you a cat person or a dog person? I am a cat person. <laughs> uh, so I actually, well, I don't own it in this house. It lives with my parents cause my, both my, well, when I moved into this place, both my roommates were allergic to it and my roommate is all still allergic one of my roommates is still allergic to it so i have um i technically have a cat doesn't live with me um named quincy i uh, absolutely love him but i am not a huge dog person just never really got into dogs uh had a lot of friends who had dogs growing up and i just like i didn't like how high energy they are and at this point in my life I just, it can't, I, I hate having something else to take care of that I have to like walk at, like take outside and walk and do all that stuff. There are some great dogs out there that I met that I absolutely love, but most of the time I, I just don't love dogs. Um, because the blacksmith would be a bit big for the town square thing. I, yeah, I definitely agree with that. Could be like a rich person's in castle lore. Oh, the medieval blacksmith. I know I not everything is connected. I mean like it's kind of connected. It's I don't know, like it would be in the Lego universe, but it's more scaled down if it was actually in I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Cool set. I see how turning the blacksmith set into an inn or something of its size. That'd be cool. I think it'd be really cool to find a way to scale down the blacksmith to be the size of the rest of the medieval um, town square. I think that would be honestly really cool to do. I have a second one. I forgot. I was just thinking about that. I have a second one. Maybe I should try to do that as a mock at some point of scaling it down. 
Oh, that is that piece I need. I mean, it's not even that it's lower tier, it's just how big and bulky it is. Like, it's a cool set, don't get me wrong. It's right above me, right there. But like, it is as, almost as tall as the highest tower on the castle. And that's, that's like, to me, why it's, and then it's just like so thick compared to all the other buildings. But I, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to try to turn it into like something for this size. I, you know, I wonder if someone's already done that mock. There's got to be someone who's done that, right? I got to check rebrickable, see if that's something someone has done. I have a second uh, three-in-one castle that I'm thinking about changing. I, I saw this great build um, on Rebrickable that this person has done a lot of um, changes with that one. And they made um, they made a really cool building. I can't remember if it was, was it the tavern or the one with the mill? I don't know. There was a really cool one that I want to try to do, and I think it would go really well with this set. Rebrickable is dangerous. I will say that. There's a lot of times I go on there, I'm like, damn, I should have gotten a second one of these to add on, like, do these mocks with it. It's a small house if you actually look at it, though. Lego scale is kind of fun. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. It, it's just how big it is, though. It is a small house, but it's also pretty big. So it's just like... It's the outside scale I care about more than the inside scale, if that makes sense. Uh, I put on lower terrain, have a good distance away from the castle and made it look smaller. That's cool. Where did you get the shields in the background? So the shields in the background, uh, my wolf pack uh, dragon and the tavern one, all from Brick Monarch Shop. Uh, there's a link down below with my uh, discount code. Um, and then the two lights up here also from them. Um, but they make awesome like castle shirts, hoodies, um, or, I mean, just classic theme shirts, hoodies and all that. And then sheet wall shields that are great to decorate your room with. So use code bricking 10 for 10% off. Rebrickable is great. If you hate having money. <laughs> You know what? You're not wrong. That is that is the best comment. That wins. If I could pin that, I would. Because that is... That should be like... If I had a quote of the day book, that would be the perfect quote of the day. What's up, Death Ray? Great info about the blacksmith. I'll save the money for two more three-in-ones for my village. Nice. Yeah, there's some cool stuff that you could do with that, like either on Rebrickable or whatever. Honestly, if you're just going to buy two more three-in-one castles for your village, might as well just get a second one of these. Um, and then what I would do is honestly take the guarded in over here, like the, the in part, both in parts, and make, you know, a whole back to make this a solid color building. And then the other side, turn the, you know, like guard's tower with the, the thing built in into like a full red building. So if you did it right uh, and you mocked it right, you could build a couple more buildings and then, you know, change up some of this stuff over here too. I, I, you know, there, there's there gotta be someone who's put out mocks already about different stuff you could do with it. The Rebrickable Black Falcon Fortress made from three, three in one castle ate up a chunk of, of my IRS refund last year. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah, I understand that. I saw some of those. That There's some people I've seen you do it. It's it's super cool. Made with bricks as one word. Uh, has all the amazing three-in-one castle and rebrickle. They're all the... Well, yep, that's who I'm thinking of. Thank you. What's up, Dragon Master Sobo? 
Oh, I didn't even realize that you're the one who made that comment. Sorry, my brain is like out of it right now. <laughs> What's up, Palzok Bricks? It's going well. How far are we? Um, we are on bag eight, eight, and we got three more bags to go. So it's taken me my usual half an hour to finish the first bag. For for those who are counting. You know, I feel like there is a betting system out there going on right now of just like how many bags will Brad actually finish in a time. And so then people like the reason I suddenly get more comments during streams and other times is because people are like trying to distract me. I feel like this is happening. I have no proof of this, but. I can uh, I can see this happening. <laughs> All right, we're making the little stove top right now. You know, I love this system that they use of taking like a one by two and then you put like another part on the side here. Oh wait, no. Um, yeah, like you do that sideways thing. I don't know. The, the way that they do a lot of these buildings and they do it, uh, did it in the, the three in one castle too. It's that same style to like make the like, like white, white, black, white, white, white. Like I need to find some white parts and some like our uh, good color parts to do that. Cause I feel like that would look really good in like frost home and, and other stuff like that that I'm working on. There it is. What's up oddity. Can't beat my, my pace. I'm slower than all of you. Don't even try. <laughs> Bet, build off at Chicago. We'll see who's uh, see who's the slowest. That actually sounds fun. You gotta take time and enjoy the experience. That is true. That is that is a very good point. I am I am enjoying the build experience though. See, this is like the type of stuff, like some people are like, oh, I don't like this. Like it's kind of based like, just like, dude, this is like the type of stuff I build all the time. When I build Lego castle, like buildings, some of these styles that they're using the same styles like I do. And you know, they're doing a lot of different stuff. And so I'm learning some different techniques that they've done. And I like that. It's just like, to me, it's like, this, this is like my comfort building style, like just buildings. And I love it. So that is one of the reasons I love this set. Is it's just like comfort building style. Where it's like the 90th anniversary castle, it was kind of like comfort building, but at the same time, like just cool techniques and all this other different stuff. So to me, I have absolutely no problem um, with this building style they have in the set. Cause it's just like, I love it. It's a building. It's all I need. Listening to tavern music while watching Brad build the village. I should really find a way to just have tavern music uh, playing. I actually have this playlist of when I do um, uh, my videos like tavern talk and stuff for like listening in the background while I edit. And <laughs> it's just like Lord of the Rings, a bunch of video game like medieval music. And it's like hundreds of songs from just like game playlists and stuff it's great it's a, it's it's a very nice vibe sounds like a plan <laughs> i don't know me and me and matt malish were just talking the other day um on a phone call we we're having about a b building challenge we want to do so I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I'm gonna pull out some building challenges during Brick World Chicago this year. Okay, I love this new door, I'm gonna say it. So it's this new wooden door and it's like, it fits into a frame and it's this new wooden door part. I love this. This is something we've needed for a while of your like basic door, but just wooden, it's not circular and it fits right in a door frame.
Do you think the Goat Herder collectible minifigure could be um could be the cheese maker in the town? I mean, maybe, but did wasn't the the guy who um he went off to go get the thing. It's he was off to buy a cow. I don't think the goat herder is buying a cow. So, love your content. Hey, thank you, uh, W Decker, for the uh, donation. <laughs> thank you so much for supporting the channel. Love your content. Keep up the great work. Hey, I appreciate it so much. Um, uh, guys, I love all the support and you guys have sent my way this uh, recently. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm I'm really happy you guys are enjoying the content lately and I I got some great stuff in the works and I, I can't wait for you guys to see it so but thank you so much um second but thank you so much for the donation uh yeah if there is one thing I ha hate about Lego from around 2007 onwards lack of buildings I love my action adventure themes, but some of my favorite stuff is buildings. I think there are some great buildings though in some of those themes. I mean, Mill Village Raid, you got the, the first medieval town, like medieval market village. Um, there's some really good ones. Some decent castles too. Um, also the tiny blacksmith. There's some small ones. I mean, I love that period, so I, I defend that. But I do understand where you're coming from. Beware of the bat ward. What's up, Night Lord? Um, Got to do some Knights Kingdom 2 card game. Yes, we have to do that. Okay, I'm not letting Caleb get away this time without me and him planning and doing some Knights Kingdom 2 trading card game. All right, look, I'm going to be practicing a bit this year. We're going to have fun. We're going to do it. And I'm going to beat him. All right, I'm calling it now. For those who don't know, last year, me and Cheesy Studios, we are the only two people, well, there's probably other people out there, but who publicly say that we have Knights Kingdom 2 trading cards, because uh, Knights Kingdom 2 had trading cards in some of the sets that they came out with, and there's a game you can kind of play. It's very basic and kind of stupid, <laughs> but it is our favorite thing to like, if we're at a convention together, play it, so... But yes, that has to happen this year. <laughs> um, I want to get the Viking Village, but I'm not sure how well it'll fit in my castle world I have right now. Viking Village is really cool. If you're getting it, it's a great display piece. Um, if you were finding a way to put the buildings in the same style as this, I think it would go really well with the rest of the castle sets. But overall, like it's a, you know, it's, it's just a Viking village. It's a cool set. Don't we? I love that set, but I don't know. Very different building style and display style than a lot of the other ones. Oh my gosh, DL, thank you for the $10 donation. Oh my gosh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, DL. Um, thank you to everyone who, who's dropping the donations today. You guys, you guys are awesome. I'm for those who don't know, I I use that money to buy other sets to um, just work more different content, either, you know, buy gear that I need. Um, so I never ask people to donate, but I always appreciate it. And I, I want to make sure you guys know it's, it's always going to a good use, uh, and always used to support the channel and help do whatever I need to, to, you know, get more content out for you guys, you know, whether that's buying some figures and stuff like that. And if you guys ever do want to donate and say, Hey, I want this for a certain, towards a certain set or, something like that, always welcome to do that. And I'll try to make sure, you know, to do that type of content, whether you know, want me to talk about a certain figure or something like that. So, uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Um, I bought the Viking Village and absolutely love it. Like it's a great piece of standalone as well. And I agree with that. There are some gripes I have with the Viking Village, but overall it's a great little set, so. Not, it's not little, it's pretty decent size, but it's a great set. Um, take take apart the Viking village to make a European village. I agree with that. It, honestly, the Viking village is a very great piece pack to build other stuff. 
So, like, I, I will say that. It's great. Um, where? That's what you were doing? Nice. Uh, looks very good and it's great price point as well. I agree. Hey, thank you much, uh, W. Decker, for becoming a member of the channel. Appreciate the support. You, you guys are awesome today. Oh, my gosh. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get through all these comments here. Class Castle had almost literally no peasant stuff. And that's very true. And that, I think that's something that's like I've always struggled with Classic Castle is how they dealt with that. Where it's like, you know, um, even like the few peasant sets they had were very niche. Like it was like a part of a like, you know, buildable castle, um, like a castle expansion. So it's super cool. But I love all the peasant stuff we've been getting lately, though. Like Lego, can we just say that Lego has been killing it on that front? Um, to be fair, you were super busy last year. I agree. I, yeah, you know, that was, that was insane how busy he was last year. <laughs> uh, I think we should get more seat. Yes. Can we just say like right now we've been getting a lot of civilian, a lot of peaceful stuff. I will say I'd be a big fan if Lego started dropping some like siege towers and stuff. Um... A 2007 was a bad choice seeing that 07 castle is peak castle. When I said action adventure, I meant more ninja. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, that's why everyone loves the medieval village. Yet. That's true. What's up, Castlebrick Studios? Uh, I have the Knights Kingdom board game. That is awesome. I only have the Viking Village. Oh, wait, no, the board game. I do have the Knights Kingdom uh, board game too. That was great. Uh, the cat fits well, a very important role in keeping the village free from mice and other pisky rodents. It seems only fair that it should receive a little milk for its efforts. Oh, a little lore note about something that no one cares about. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to rant about this again, guys. I'm going to rant about this again. Why are we getting lore note, like, notes about that? But there isn't anything like, oh, the Basil of the Bad Lord has been spotted again, like, four clicks south of here, or... Um, the queen was visiting yesterday from the castle, like something good. Like they did that so well in the Lion Knight's castle and we are not getting that in this set. This is, that is my biggest gripe with it. And I will say, I'm going to start a hashtag justice for medieval market square. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm making up stuff now, <laughs> but justice for that. And I want Lego to redo the instructions, but with the lore bits from the designer. All right. Can we, can we make that happen? All right, guys, we did finish bag one though. Uh, not one. So this would be bag eight. So got a little more done. All right. So we need bag nine. Be pretty decent sized bag here. Um, all right. What else are people saying here? Can't remind people that surf done existed. Yes, exactly. Because who else are going to be my surfs? <laughs> Controversial opinion. My favorite Lego castle is the Lion Chi Temple from Chima. Well, that's a temple and not a castle, so it doesn't count. All right. I'm just saying it's it's not a it's a it's a temple. You it's in the name. How many of the CMF Vampire Knight do I have so far? I have like 12. I haven't really been trying to get more. Um, I mean, that's a that's a good number. I'm very happy that I've gotten the ones I've had. I'd love to get 18, because usually what I try to, actually, I probably don't need that, because I already have some, uh, I think I have enough Fright Knights figures outside of that. But I usually try to have an army of 16 with a flag bearer. Um, flag bearer and um, an officer. And so the officer would, of course, be Basil that Lord. But I'd love to try to change up a bunch of them into, you know, an army. Um, at some point, I want to do a little army building video on Fright Nights. So. 
All right. Um, uh, I made a peasant out of Hagrid, paid it out of Hagrid's hut. I can't think of, uh, for wait for Wolfpack to hit Pab to make an ambush scene. That would be awesome. Definitely something I want Lego to be doing, but yeah, Hagrid, the new Hagrid's hut, especially would be perfect to turn into a little peasant hut. Um, I've seen images of that one and it's really good and it, it would fit really well with it. I mean, it's a very unique style too, so it's not just your normal square buildings. Um, we need more peasant stuff and a night lord needs peasants to rule over. True. Yeah, what's the point of having armies and giant things if there's nothing to conquer and there's no one to rule, okay? Look, we just all want to live out our fantasies of ruling a kingdom, okay? Whether that's as a good or bad leader. Uh, if Lego made a new Lego castle battle pack, everyone would go crazy. I think that is something that, I mean, Lego needs to just make more battle pack. I mean, it is, you don't even have to call it a battle pack. Just like figure pack. Because I used to do that back in the day all the time. And I think like you do a wolf pack, couple lionites, couple black falcons, call it a day. I don't know. Um, and then like, I mean, even... Lego 2013 castle. They had this like little like ambush set that was like two Lionites and two Dragonites. Technically a battle pack, like a great way. And it came with a little tree, a little cart, I think. Like I would buy a hundred of those in a heartbeat because it'd just be such a good little set. Also a good way to build it up. Also, I, okay. I know some people probably don't care about this stuff, but I do. Growing up, I got a lot of the small sets, like, because my family wouldn't buy me a lot of the big stuff, which is one of the reasons I went ham as when I got adult and bought a lot of the big stuff. Uh, um, but, like, my family never, like, they never got me, like, the big sets. It was a big treat. So I have a very, like, soft place in my, like, soft place in my heart for the small stuff for the little small sets with the little builds and a couple figures. And there are certain sets like I've gotten recently, like in the space theme, that's like that. And it just, it's like, I love that kind of stuff. And so sometimes like I wish, like if we had this, you know, couple nights or a couple figures in a $20 set with this nice little like small build, whether it's a couple of trees or whatever it is, honestly, I'd be like so happy with that. That would bring so much happiness to me. Um, just be able to get that and build that and kind of have that experience. So like for me, and I know a lot of people just like, they want to be able to afford this stuff. And so that makes sense too on that side of it. But it's just like, I want to be able to afford, you know, these cheap, you know, get a cheaper castle set anyways. But on top of it, I just want that feeling back of being able to buy a small set like that and have, especially something around castle. And I don't know. That just, that's awesome. That'd be awesome to me. Um, I'm missing a lot of comments here and I'm so sorry. Um, controversial Lego needs to kill off old castle. They need to make new castle so that newer generations will grow up with castle. I don't disagree with that. Honestly, I think, I think that there should be the, you know, a new castle theme. And I think I've said this a lot. I put the wrong piece there. I said this a lot where it's like, I would love it if, like, we're kind of getting a reboot to Castle right now, but it's also, like, a continuation of old LEGO Castle. But at the same time, I think it would be awesome to have new factions, new sets, new castle builds. Like, I am fine with what we're getting right now. I think what we're getting right now is, is good, but I do agree with that. It would be awesome if they would kill off old ca Castle in a way. But, I don't know. I'm fine with it. As a content creator, it gives me a lot of new content to talk about, so I can't complain. <laughs> um, I 
mix vintage and new stuff with it too. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not hard to mix the new and old, which is one of the great things is if you have some of the old and have some of the new, it's it's very easy to mix those. So that's, that's one of the reasons I always don't mind the new and old castle. GWP is anti-consumer. The Majesto set should have been a retail set uh, with a lot better budget. I mean, 100%. 100%. GWPs are, I mean, I used to love GWPs and now it's just like, all right, now I have to drop $200 on stuff I don't exactly want to get this. Or I have to try to buy it on the aftermarket with everyone shooting up the price. And everyone's like, well, it's a, it's a free Lego set, but they're building sets people want. You know, the Black John Cruiser, the, the Bionicle, like all these sets that people actually want to just buy on the shelves and buy in bulk too. Lego is forcing them to not be able to do that. And that is just awful. And I think there are certain things that should be GWP, but there's things that's like the only way to get this really unique item is to get a GWP. And I do think that is just the worst. All right, we're putting on stickers on the sheet cheese stop shop. get this all right that's not bad that's not bad stick replacement <laughs> all right uh i just put a hundred dollar pab order for lion and black falcon torsos on the road to army building nice gotta run hey thank you so much w decker for the donations uh gotta run enjoy the build thank you so much for hopping on and, and joining the stream and as I, I said thank you so much again for the donations uh and if by the way, guys, the streams are always up on my channel for ages after they're done. So more than if you ever want to come back and watch stuff, you don't have to watch while I'm on. I always understand. So always more than welcome to hop off and go do other stuff they got to do in life and then come back a lot later. Uh, I find GWP stressful unless they magically line up with an existing theme set. And I agree with that. Like that, I don't mind the D and D GWP because it's going around with the you know if you buy the D and D set day one, it's like a reward for buying it day one. Uh, but other than that, like I'm even you know, like May the Fourth used to have great GWPs, and now it's like kind of going downhill quick. Like they're doing a droid carrier as a GWP for May the Fourth this year, which is just wrong on so many levels. Hello, I just watched a few of your videos today. Well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed them. And if this is first time joining one of my streams, welcome to the stream. All right. You really like my Alien Invasion one? Well, thank you so much, guys. If you have not seen my new Alien Conquest one, I highly recommend watching it. It's, in one of my opinion, one of my better videos I have worked on, and it was so much fun. Um, it was a lot of fun to make, and it's also one of my longest ones right now. Uh, besides, if you don't count live streams, and I think, yeah, like as in my breakdowns, I think it's one of the ones. Brad, what do I think of the tournament night CMF? It is one of the best figures we have gotten, um, night wise. I love it's so it's so unique, and that's why I love it. Like that color scheme, all that like. It frustrates me that we aren't getting that color scheme more because that is such a good color scheme. And I think the problem is right now is we got so many sets that like we just get these awful color, like I, I, these color schemes we've seen, the blue and the the red, we see it all the time. So I'm, I'm so happy that we are getting like this, un we got that unique color scheme with that, but really sad that they didn't keep it going. If a GWP is over 300 pieces, it should be retail. This is, that is literally $30 worth of Lego. I agree with that. I think Lego should make a siege tower for the Black Falcons. I don't know. I think it'd be cool if they did a siege tower. Uh, the tournament night is the Raven night, for those who don't know. It's like, uh, if you watch my video, that's the every CMF castle figure one uh, I talk about it in there but it's basically 
like it's a yellowish orange and it's got the raven on the shield. All right, we need, we need some water out of the mug. Best of that, Lord, it's the best CMF of all time, hands down. I definitely think it's the best castle CMF of all time. I don't know if it's the best CMF. I, maybe I need to rank. What are the top 10 best castle, uh, best CMFs LEGO has ever done? I will, you know, I will always go towards more of the castle ones. But I think, I think there might be some better ones out there. But I'm not positive on that. Old castle could keep going in the CMF line, but set should be new castle stuff. I agree with that. I missed on the tournament night due to COVID restrictions. So hard to get now. It's super pricey on the aftermarket. I know. And that was like, that figure was right before the blacksmith, which is in my opinion, the resurgent res resurgence of Lego uh, castle. And that was, that was a huge issue was that like, if that set had come out, like, if that figure had come out around the time of that, people would have been buying up that figure like crazy even more because it goes so well with that set. And by the time the blacksmith came out, it was very hard to get that figure. So, yeah, that was always a huge issue. Yes, collectible minifigures. That, that, that's what uh, CMF stands for. It's the blind bags. All right, we'll get in there. Making good progress. All right. Um, also, thanks for sending me to Brickhouse Resellers. No problem. That is a great, great store. I'm going to be going out there again, actually, uh, very soon here during their... Uh, I was telling everyone on the stream this earlier, but... Uh, I think it's March 24th, so it's going to be in a few weekends here. It's a Sunday. Uh, Brickhouse Resellers is having their two-year anniversary, and I'm going to be going out there for their two-year anniversary. Very excited about it. Um, they're bringing me out there. I'll be hanging out in the store all day, um, meeting you guys if you if you guys show up at the store. So, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be an absolute blast. I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of deals, bunch of cool stuff happening. So, all right, let's see here. Uh, we need another good. We need another good guys versus bad guys theme. World Racers wasn't even all out war thing. Elf team was like the '80s action cartoon. Yeah, no, I mean I agree. It's, I mean. We just all want something different. We all want a new Lego theme. And I think Lego needs to build an original theme that's not dreams, that's actually like, there, you can make a Lego theme that hits a wider audience and not like kids will enjoy it, but also adults will look at the sets and go, that's really cool. And I think, I know a lot of people have felt that way about dreams of enjoying it, but it's still like, I don't know. It doesn't get me, it doesn't bring me in. Like if they done a new space, like the new space theme is a great example. Kids will love that theme. But as an adult, I look at those sets and go, I want these. These are awesome. <laughs> and I know I've, I've praised that theme very highly, but look, I can't stop praising it. So, <laughs> hello Brad, hope you are well today. So what do you think in the next Lego Castle set will be? Hmm. Also, what's up? Welcome back to the stream today. Um... All right, let me think here. Let me think here. What do I think the next Lego Castle theme will be? All right, not theme, set. Well, I think there's a few things. I could easily see Lego doing a Wolfpack Renegade, like our Wolfpack remake, and I is either a GWP or as whatever. Um, because we got the Wolfpack torso and I could see them going, Hey, I want to, we want to use this again. So I would have, I'd have no complaints with that. 
Um, so I could easily see that happening. Um, what am I clipping this to? Wait, what? So there's that, and then that goes that way. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the trajectory here. So I could see that being the next castle set. Honestly, I, I I said this yesterday, but I think a tournament set would be the next logical choice that Lego could do. Second here. Sorry, I messed up something. I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong. Um. Oh, okay. So it is just a drop off there. All right. Um, so yeah, I could easily see them doing a tournament set. Like it, it would make perfect sense with what they've done so far. It would, it would just connect onto everything. So yeah. I, I think, I think it would be really cool if Lego did a tournament. And I think, cause like they kind of been not going towards the war side of medieval stuff. Now like you can easily do the war side. But they aren't giving us sets directly for that. So that's why I could easily see something like a tournament that's just like, hey, you know, it's a knight's, it's not even just jousting, but like just a tournament in general. Um, and I don't, that's why I don't think the Lego Ideas tournament set will happen is because Lego is going to go with that. And they, I'm guessing they've been planning it for a while. Um... Uh, as a Lego space fan, Castle works better in modern Lego with modern detailing. Space works better in 20th century design philosophies. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that. Um, what is my favorite faction? Okay. Top five. First, 2010 Dragon Knights. That green Dragon Knight faction is one of the best factions Lego has ever made. The color scheme, the printing... It's just the best, in my opinion. I know everyone's going to disagree with that. But in my opinion, it's the best. Um, Wolfpack, probably number two. Fright Night's number three for me. Uh, uh, Fright Night's number two. Wolfpack, number three. I do love Wolfpack. It's hard. I love Wolfpack, but I also love Fright Night's. Uh, Basil the Bat Lord is one of the reasons, though, I love Fright Night's. Uh, four, Troll Faction... Five would be door. Uh, eh, five would be dragon masters, and then six would probably be um, uh, doors for me. What's up, Alpha Glitch Girl? Hope you're doing well these days. Um. What are my thoughts on TikTok ban? I don't get into the political side and stuff on here, but I will say as a content creator and as someone who did start their content creation on TikTok, it's it's uh, it's a lot of stuff that I'm not going to get into because we don't need to have arguments happening in the chat. I don't like it personally, but you know, it's I can't fight it. But I am just here to talk about Lego. The as I always say, the only politics I care about are the ones in the kingdom of Lego Castle. So. <laughs> uh, the actual green dragon shield is their main downfall. I disagree with that very much so. I think the dragon, the 2010 dragon knights are the best. Can't get wrong with that. Um. Uh, knowing Lego will get another Magista set without any minifigure printing. <laughs> Probably right in a way, but I don't think, I think, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that Lego can do. And at this point, it's, it's very weird because we haven't gotten any rumors of anything new. We haven't gotten any leaks. So like I can theorize all day what I think Lego's going to do for next stuff for Lego Castle. But until we get that, I can't. I can't figure out what Lego's plan is. Like, it feels like Lego wants to build off of the 90th anniversary castle and build more stuff based around that. 
But again, we don't know what's going to happen until Lego starts doing stuff. Because, you know, after Magisto, they could go, oh, well, that didn't do well. We're going to, you know, maybe cut back from doing this more. Or, you know, and, and this set's been doing pretty decent. Um, according to the like, when I went to the Lego store to buy it, they said that it's actually not been doing too bad. Um, 90th Anniversary Castle did amazing. So, you know, 3-in-1 Castle, it did fantastic because all of us were buying so many of it. Viking Village did pretty well. So, overall, like, these sets are doing well. And so I think it's going to show Lego, hey, all right, maybe this is maybe this is what we do, is dive into this a bit more. But again, we're not going to know what Lego is going to do until Lego does something. Because they have plans out the wazoo and then they cancel a lot of their stuff or they decide hey we're not going to actually make this or upper management you know like from what i know of happens at lego i don't you know i don't, I don't have any inside sources this is the, just the stuff i hear so again like until something happens we don't know uh Anyone excited for LEGO d and I am very much excited for LEGO d and LEGO d and is going to be fantastic. Uh, that was a very smart move on their behalf to do that. Uh, team up with has... Uh, what, who owns d and I don't actually know. Well, whatever group owns d and it was very smart of LEGO to team up with them. And very smart of that uh, the company to do that. I think it's Hasbro, but I'm very wrong on that, I'm pretty sure. Um, the CMF d and figures is where it's at, though. Those are going to be fantastic. Is it possible that just a set was a bad set to remake as a GWP? I, yes and no. I don't know how I'm going to explain this. Um, first off, I'm missing a one-by-one one brown piece. So I either put something wrong, but I'm going to grab one of my extra ones, stick it here. Probably just dumped it in the wrong spot, but. Or I put it wrong by one brown part in the wrong spot, which is more than likely. Which is probably very likely, knowing me. Um, Hasbro and Z and D. Okay, I, I was right about that. I just didn't want to say it, like, Fully, because I was like, I, is it? I don't remember, actually. Did I not pile enough parts underneath this? Oh. Okay, no, I did. I need uh, one more template. You still got to buy the Lion... You, you got to get that Lionite's Castle, right? It is one of the best sets out there on the market right now. I keep telling you this. You got to save up for that sucker. <laughs> and then find the right GWP and buy it. <laughs> Hopefully there's going to be another good GWP coming out later this year, but I have no inside information on that. Just wishful thinking. Uh, does anyone know if D&D figs will be yellow or realistic? So from the looks of it, the set is going to be realistic, but the CMF figures are going to be like yellow according to the leak. So I don't fully know, but it will be very interesting to see what happens there. Uh, not castle re related, but man, I'm still disappointed Lego didn't remake Sabri Island for the Eldorado Fortress release. I agree with that because that the pirate GWP we did end up getting last year was awful. I know you do, but things keep coming up by the end of tw yeah. Hopefully, hopefully 2024. It's the year you got to get it. Before I, I think what we've talked about is it might retire it at the end of this year. So. I got the Lion Knight's Castle for my mother for 250 using all my saved up VIP points. Nice. It is great when you have a lot of saved up VIP points. I remember at one point I had enough and I just like pulled the trigger and got like a pretty expensive set for free. And that that is always the move. All right. Almost done with this bag. Is this too? Oh, this is two X. Okay, I'm gonna be building this at the same time then. All 
All right. But yeah, um, so I don't know what they're gonna do for d and I would, I would prefer if they didn't do realistic skin tones and did the yellow, but I understand at the same time. Um, I don't know. I, I personally just a bigger fan of like when I get figures and stuff of you the yellow, the yellow and not, not realistic, but that's just me. So. Um, D and D figs will have realistic skin tones, but the torsos will not have skin prints. So you can swap them with yellow hat. That makes it. Yeah, honestly, that's probably the move um, right there from Lego. All right, one sec, finishing this up. Honestly, this part of the building was kind of cool. Like, it's decent building techniques. Yeah, I have no issues with this part of the building. Just got to get this right. All right. Um, come on here. I think VIP points should give me like $20 off. I mean, that's still not bad. Whatever you can get off with VIP points is always worth it. I think I have like $30 worth after buying this set. I should have waited till double points, but I don't know. I just needed to get it. I needed to start talking about it. <laughs> All right. Whew. And we are done. Wait. Let me actually finish this before I say we're done. We're getting close to being done. Wow, that was only two bags and I'm not where I wanna, well, actually wait, so started at 2.30. Oh no, we're making actually pretty good time. We've gotten through the first hour and finished. All right, there we go. All right. We got through the first, oh wait, where did this candle go? Uh-oh. I'm waiting for a uh, good GVP before I buy this. That is smart, and that's honestly the way that I recommend for everyone, is just wait for a good GWP, or double points, and then get it then. All right, we finished bag, I'm gonna call it bag two of this building, which is technically bag nine. I messed up and didn't get this candle in and I'm having trouble getting my hand in there. Ah, brick separator to the rescue to push it down. Hopefully that's secure enough. All right, guys, we are on bag 10. We are gonna be building the roof now, and then after that, it's like little detailing around the rest of the uh, building. So. All right. We're gonna speed build this section, all right? Probably not gonna happen, but we're gonna try our best. Um, <laughs> I was just talking about this earlier. I do not, I do not support gambling on my stream. I'm going to say that before YouTube tries to ban me. <laughs> I don't think they actually would, but never be too careful. How many bags are there? Just curious. I think there's like 25. So once I finish this, I will be like halfway through. At least when I count it, there may be 26 and I just didn't see it. Uh, this says 230, about a uh, US price point. And it's about like 250 after tax. Uh, yep, so that's bag 11. So we're gonna be doing bag 10 and then 11. Oh, I figured as much red cyber. I just had to say that as. <laughs> That. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move quickly here. We're gonna move quickly. Not that I'm not. It's not that I'm not enjoying this. I just want to see how quickly we can get through this. But yeah, um, trying to think of what other sets are getting talked about right now. 
I will say I did get the Easter GWP with this, which was awful and, ugh. I don't know. It's like people are like, oh, it's cute. I'm just like, I don't care. Just, I'm going to sell this anyways at a convention because <laughs> it's not great at all. Or at a used Lego store or something to get points to buy other castle or figs that I want for videos. All right. Uh, plus bags, I thought they already swapped a paper. No, I haven't got, okay, I only own one set that has paper bags in it. Uh, and the set that I have that owns paper bags is actually the first set that LEGO ever put paper bags in, which was the Ninjago Holiday uh, employee gift. Because when I was working at LEGO, that was the employee gift that we got. But no, they, that's the only set I have ever bought in that has, or not bought in, that has been given to me. Um, I want to use Fireball. I'll just swap it for something else I want. Um, but no, like Lego. I don't know. It's weird because Lego keeps saying they're going to push these paper bags, and I still haven't gotten any. Um, the instructions have went, been come the crappy instructions, but haven't seen. Oh my gosh, haven't seen yet. Lego do the like what they've been saying it's been like years now like it's been at least two years where lego's been like yeah we're switching to paper bags they switched over the you know the plastic cardboard boxes which was awful uh for cmf figures and you know they started to put in um i've heard they've been putting paper bags into sets i just haven't seen it myself yet Uh, I have every 20th anniversary Star Wars Lego set except the Christmas X-Wing that was the given to the employees. Uh, I think, yeah, and, and, and it was in given to ambassadors too. That's cool. I, I have all those too. I remember um, buying, spending enough to get the Obi-Wan uh, figure from that when it was GWP. And then they put it on sale and I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, like they put it on Lego.com, I remember. But that one was really cool. Um, that that whole line. I remember that era very fondly. The little Stormtrooper transport was actually... The original was my first ever clone... Was my first ever Star Wars set. So, like, that was a big deal when I was like, I can actually buy this and get the new version of it. From my understanding, it's only for European... Okay. It's not for the U.S. yet. Which is weird. One of your friends has the Christmas section. That is awesome. It's one of those sets that I think would be cool to own, but I'd never spend that. It's like if someone had a couple bucks, like was selling it for a good price and I had it, I'd be like, all right, I'll buy this. But at the same time, not selling it would be um, very hard to not. Like it's such a crazy one. Like, the, the price of it is so crazy. It'd be hard for me to not be like, yeah, I'm going to sell this because I just... Like, Star Wars is cool, but, like, the only Star Wars I really care about right now is Bad Batch, which has been so good. If you haven't watched Bad Batch, I highly recommend watching it. This newest season has been the best of all three, and these last two episodes were fantastic, so... I like Legos as a kid, but broke most of them. Yep, that's how it goes. Most of my, like, childhood sets, like, I built back, and they aren't in great shape. Um, but I have more recently started buying up a few of them that I really wanted. Brad, you were there. That was right, Ron. I forgot that you did that. That was an insane, you got, I'm pretty sure you talked the guy down a bit too. You got a lot of good sets that day. 
for the record, me and you are doing a, we're, me and you are going through the convention uh, this time together. Because I need your luck of being able to get uh, talking people down out of stuff. <laughs> Cause you were talking everyone out of their out of their items. It was great. You said he was thinking of selling it. Yeah, no, literally, literally, there are certain things that you hear someone selling. You're just like, can I sell a kidney today to buy that off you? Because it would be worth it. Include Jedi Bob and Jack 14 with the new... They are doing a new um, Jedi Bob, and I'm very excited about that. That is one figure that I do actually kind of want to buy um, for Star Wars. It's, I think it's going to be a pretty cheap set too. So that's one that I definitely want to pick up when it comes out because that would be awesome to own. The original Jedi Bob is so iconic. That yard sale, that yard sale was awesome. I think we... Well, the funny thing is I spent all my money before the yard sale because people, um, one of my good friends, Victor, kept finding me all these amazing castle deals before then. So I think I had like the entire Dragon Masters line, uh, like a bunch of Dragon Masters sets and a bunch of other stuff before the convention even started, um, before the yard sale even started. So I just ended up buying all these like amazing sets and then the yard sale hits and I was like, well, I have no money now. <laughs> Um, the only sets that survived were the first Star Wars Cantina and a castle with... Ba oh, she had a Fright Night set. That's really cool. That is amazing. Fright Nights was such a great theme. Uh, Jedi Bob is this character who came in the 2002 Republic gunship. Um, and... Like, he's kind of an original character, Star Wars character, made by Lego. And, like, he's kind of basic. It's just, like, Jedi robe. Like, I think it was brown Jedi robes with a brown hood and cape, if I remember right. And he had this, like, gray-bearded face. And he was just called Jedi Bob. And that was that was it. Um, but he's become a very expensive figure because everyone kind of wanted him. Because he's so unique. You know, like, he's not your normal Jedi figure. So, yeah, like, his name Jedi Bob, and, um, but they're remaking him, I guess, for a new set that's coming out. Jedi Bob is a legend. You are correct. There's a lot of figures like that that are just kind of stupid, let's be honest, like... <laughs> They're, they're kind of, uh, there's just a r big running joke around them. And yet us Lego fans will go crazy over them because they're just very, the history. It's the history what matters to us about them. And then the price goes up and everyone's like, all right, can't buy that figure anymore. I do wonder, too, if they'll keep the original face paint. It would be very interesting to see what LEGO does with that. Sorry, face print, not paint. I don't know. There's a lot of great Star Wars stuff that's coming out. I don't buy Star Wars much anymore. I would definitely... There is one figure, because I'm a big Rogue One fan, and I'd absolutely love to get Saw Gerrera when he drops as a minifigure, because he's supposed to be one. But, like... I don't want to buy the, the set that he comes in, so I'm probably just going to end up buying the figure and calling it a day, like off of Bricklink, because it is a figure that I've, I've wanted for a while. So I'm probably, that's like kind of my plan to get him right now, because I don't want to drop a ton of money on him. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, I messed up. All right, one second. We built this roof wrong. Where'd that part go? Okay, there it is, I think. No, wait, that's not it. 
I lost the part. It doesn't help that these dark tan plate, uh, pieces uh, blend in with the floor. You like Rogue One? It's my favorite. Yeah, like it's in my opinion, Rogue One is the best Star Wars movie. Um, I absolutely love Rogue One. I think it's just the best one yet. So for me, that's that's why I care so much about it. Like I own most of the Rogue One sets. Actually, what got me back into Lego pretty hardcore was buying up most of the, like the first sets I bought off of Bricklink were Rogue One sets. I remember getting money for my birthday and I was like, you know, there's this one Rogue One set I've always kind of wanted and it's the U-Wing. And I looked into it and I looked into it and I was like, screw it, I'm gonna get it. And I bought it and it was awesome. <laughs> and then that started in a path of addiction. So um, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding. That was, uh... it started me down a bad path. Cause then I bought the Rogue One Y-Wing um, what, what's some of the other ones? I, I Yeah, there was just a whole bunch of them that I really got into. I fell out of Star Wars. Star, hey, I don't blame anyone for falling out of Star Wars. I'll be honest, I've even fallen out of Star Wars a lot lately. I just, I don't care as much for it anymore. As I said, Bad Batch is kind of the one thing that I actually like. I enjoy watching it sometimes and it's a big part of my childhood and like I, I you know marvel and star wars and all that stuff i just kind of don't care about as much anymore so i completely understand um and it's also the big thing that got me back into lego was star wars so actually it was the mandalorian atst i think it was um that was a big part of getting me back so it's like i have a big appreciation for it because of that but yeah i mean i understand Yeah, Ewing is the rebel dropship from Rogue One. Am I excited for D&D? &D? Most definitely. I'm very excited just to see the set. You know, we've heard a lot of rumors about it. We've seen some images. But I want to know what it's going to actually look like. That's a, that's a big part. I want to use that K2SO for Commander Droid minifigure in War Fort. I want that K2SO. That's a figure I want them to make again. I've been dying to... Guys, let's take a moment of respect. We're going to take a moment of silence here. Because we have, in my hand right now, is the new goat. It is the new goat. All right, now just chuck it away. <laughs> it's gray. It's very gray. That's that's all I can say about it is it's gray. I don't know if I like the gray. I don't know. Ooh, also a squirrel comes in this set. I'm excited about that. All right, we don't need that sticker sheet anymore. I got the Rage of Crest and AT-AT Walker sets, but I'm thinking about selling them to make room for castle. Hey, you know what? You know what? I I kind of did the same thing. I actually sold off a bunch of stuff. I don't think I've sold off a lot of Star Wars, but I've definitely been like selling off a ton of Harry Potter uh, and other Lego themes that I didn't care as much for. Uh, definitely to get more uh, room, for, more room for Castle and more room in general, more money to buy stuff like that. So I am hoping it's here to stay. I got the gray squirrel off of BAM recently. It's really nice. Yeah, it's. I mean, the one that comes with this one's a really great color. So I got something in my eye. What the heck? All right, we're good. 
Yeah, light bluish gray would have been better color for the... I don't even know if light, like... Honestly, I will say, I want them to make, like, a black sheep at some point. Like, different colors of sheep, maybe. I don't know, because, like... There's other stuff that LEGO could do that would be really cool for um, sheep and goats. A black goat would have been cool, too. I don't know why they dark gray. Like, I just guess I got to get used to it. We've had just such bright colors for the goat, for the other two goats. So, it's kind of weird to have, sorry, I'm looking for a certain piece, to have such a dark color for it. I think that's maybe what's throwing me off a bit. Alrighty. I love this technique that they're using for the fence. A squirrel ain't as important or as cool as a goat. I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool little animal to have. The goat's cool, but at the same point, why do we love a goat? What makes the goats, it's just because of how unique it was. It's because of the history behind it. There are times where I'm like, yeah, goat's cool, but honestly, I could like, I don't know. There's other animals. Like I would much rather have a cow in a set. And I'm so glad we got a cow uh, with the 90th anniversary castle. Sweet, need sheep, like how you can dye them in Minecraft. That would be cool. I would definitely be behind that. All right, so we got to build. Have a good day. Hey, thanks so much. It's the go to go. <laughs> All right, we are almost done with this. We're going to finish this before the allotted time that I had set for this stream. I don't think we're going to do another bag today. There's other stuff I probably should go get done. But this will be the last bag. Making some good progress here. I will say, I think they need to have a new Jester. And I think a Jester should have come in this set. But just overall, I think it would be really cool if LEGO made a new Jester uh, LEGO figure to go with this new medieval stuff. I think that's like, again, if they did the tournament set, you could have a jester, um, have, bring in a bunch of knights, you know, be great introduction to the black knights. There's so many good figures that they could put in something. Like the tournament set is just perfect. It would be the perfect option for all this. The Lego Goat is more peaceful than its uh, real life counterpart. That is true. One of my friends had a goat growing up and I definitely did not have great experiences with those goats if I remember right. <laughs> goats can be kind of crazy. Wait, did I put one of these in the wrong? Oh, that's all right. So where's... Oh. I don't know. What castle fig would you, what castle figs would you guys like to see Lego make in the next set? Okay, you know, you guys asked me all. What would you guys think that Lego should make? Do you think Lego the next set Lego should make it should be a remake? Should just be just kind of a random thing, uh, something unique? Like, what do you guys think? What should be the next Lego item out there? Let's sorry, Lego castle, not Lego item, Lego castle item. People are going to go insane when the goat goes on PAP. It's one of those ones that you're not going to be able to buy day one because everyone else will be buying it day one. I mean, people went crazy on the sheep, which makes sense. I really wanted sheep. Uh, I definitely bought some of those up. I am mad that I bought that farm set, but it's fine. More fantasy era style stuff. That's my nostalgia era. I agree with that. Knights tournament, but a ton of knights from different eras. That would also, like, that is the perfect set to bring a lot of things together. Newcastle seems to kind of lack unique characters. There are a few, but no specific knights that stands out as a main character. I'm not sure that's necessarily a bad or good thing. It's, it's good and bad. 
like we do have the new queen who is kind of like stands out. Um, I don't know. We kind of got like the wolf pack in this set and the, the tax collector. But I do agree, like, we want characters like Basil the Batlord or um, Dragon Masters or Magisto or Will the Witch. Like, that kind of stuff would be really cool for LEGO to do. I love to see another princess slash queen. I love a printed dress figs in general. I agree. There are some really good ones from the past, and it'd be really cool to see LEGO get us that. I would love a king, too, because we didn't really get that yet. Uh... New Lego armor piece would be cool. I can definitely agree. I think I want printed armor. I mean, like the ones we got, like I love armor with like the Black Falcon logo on it. Kind of like we got for the 90th anniversary, not 90th anniversary, um, Yellow Castle Knight from the CMF line. I'd love that for more, but for more factions. Give yeah, us a flagship set. For the remaining factions and start the theme anew with new factions. Agreed. I can see a joust with Black Knights as the main feature. It's prime for plenty of Easter eggs too to have multiple knight factions. 100%. What if Leo got brick built fantasy or monsters? I Hey, I would be fine with some like fantasy monsters. Um, Black Falcon, King or Queen would be cool. Ooh, I can agree on that one. We kind of haven't gotten like leadership for the Black Falcons. So that one would be cool. The Cult Bricks back. Yeah, I agree. Cult Bricks, like all those are great armor pieces. Again, I've, as I've said on this channel before, like those are all cool, but I don't feel like dishing out the money that some of those, um, they have to pay for some of those where it's like... We're fine. Everything's good. Nothing broke too badly. It's all fixable. <sighs> it's not expecting that. That kind of scared me. Oh. Uh, yeah, that really scared me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I'm just glad I didn't see it flying across. Black Falcons are technically ruled by the Black Knight, but not anymore. Technically, in, in this era of LEGO Castle. All right, everything's fine. We're all good. Just like the, the there's that image where the room's on fire and it's just like, we're fine. It's, ha you know, it's all good. All right, almost done. I'm excited, we're gonna finish this building. It'll be nice to have a big part of this set done. Um, but we will be doing another stream around this tomorrow, probably around like three o'clock-ish. I think I said, yeah, three o'clock. We're gonna say three o'clock for tomorrow's. I think, the Black Falcon might come in the... You mean the Black... Wait. Black Knight's Castle, that's just a theory? Uh, I... If you're saying what I think you're saying, I, that... Uh, I think I technically have proven that that's not true. The people... The Black Falcons that come in the Lion Knight's Castle are heralds for the Black Falcon. Alrighty. Yeah, so 3 p.m. tomorrow, I'm going to be doing another stream. We're going to start in the next building, which means we're going to get one step closer to making the tax collector, which I'm super excited about. That's a really cool figure that I cannot wait to build. Um, because my people, look, my Lego castle figures have been living rent-free in my house. Um, so I'm going to start taxing them. Very high taxes because, you know, I need that tax money from them. So I can buy more Lego castle. 
Also, I can I just say I love how they made um, the little, I'm building the fencing around this. It's pretty simple, a little bit delicate at times, but overall it's not bad. I like it. I like, I like how they did that. Sometimes you just need like a simple fence system. All right. Wait, did I miss the, oh, there's the tree. So tree, goat. Dude, I am gonna fill this goat pen up with goats because uh, I have so many goats from that. Um, I have a lot of goats. Very random stream. Well, okay, so this thing. I prefer to stream at two, th uh, three o'clock or three to six o'clock, kind of around that time zone. Um, but today and yesterday, I was really busy. Uh, I had stuff I had to do and I could have streamed later, but then I found out like, basically I have to go get my car. Uh, it's in the shop right now. And so I had to schedule these streams out around that. Um, and I got stuff, so I'm three o'clock is going to be probably the next few days of streaming. And also I'm trying to make it so that different people can come out to these streams. Cause I've seen, you know, people have wanted to come out to the streams, but it's just not their time zone. And so like time zone that works. So I'm trying to find a, a good one that a lot more people can come out to. So that a lot more people can enjoy this. Cause I know a lot of people have been wanting to see me build this. A lot of people have been wanting to see me build this set. So. One second, I'm seeing an issue here. There's a piece that's turned around. The dark green trees look so much better than the regular. I love the dark green tree. I need to buy some for frost stone because right now I only have the regular and I don't like how it looks. Um, so I, I really need I really need to get like a ton of those. Just like one massive order of that. Appreciate you for considering all time zones. Hey, look, I gotta give support to my overseas fans. I gotta give support to my, all those other fans out there from different time zones. Like I have to, as a content creator, it's one of the biggest things I have to think about sometimes because for, especially for when I do streaming, just cause it's like, well, I want, you know, all these people say they want to come out and see it. How can I make it so that different time groups, people can do that. So but yeah, I really do want to get the pine trees uh, and frost on. Cause I think that would look really good. Okay. We are done with this building. So halfway through, let me give you guys some thoughts before we wrap up the stream here. We got 32 people in the stream. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. So, so far, I'm going to put this kid here. We're gonna put the little, cause there's a bunch of side builds that we built. So far, what do I think of this? We're gonna give halfway through updates. All right, first off, minifigures so far, they're all right. My favorite for sure has been the Wolfpack figure. That figure is so good. The torso on it is just amazing. I have no issues with that. Um, so I love that figure. Well done. This tree was very interesting little build. The styles I used on it were pretty cool. Um, I love the posters on it. The posters are my favorite part and probably some of my favorite Easter eggs. Uh, cheese cart. I mean, cheese little shop here. Pretty cool. I like it cause it goes really well with the 90th anniversary cast. So. Uh, onto the build so far. I love the little fence pen, uh, fence, the pen for the goat. That was just very cool. And like the, the way they use it, it's kind of simple, but it, it's, it looks good. Um, yeah, I like that. I also like on this side, how you got the little bees and the little farm patch here. It's cool. It just adds a little to. Uh, and then also you get like the bee throughout the set. Like there's a bee on this side, even though the hive's over here. So I just love that part of it. Um, and the beehive, I just, I love that. Um, 
there's a part that they use for the roof over here that I really like, how they round over it. Um, yeah, overall, I, I like this building. I like how it can kind of fold out. That does look really cool from the front, but I think it honestly looks really good just like this. And a lot of, you know, I've seen a lot of medieval buildings where they're kind of smashed together. It's, you know, it's, it's a bunch of different stuff. So I'm perfectly fine with that. And the fact that you can open up like this and you can see the different insides, that's fine. It makes it so you can fit figures in there better and so you can actually look into the, the, the middle one here, the middle one. Because without that, you couldn't see that. So uh, I love how all the roofs come out. The roof, roofing style that they've done so far have been a big fan of that. Um, kind of similar to the Viking Village in some way. Um, yeah, I don't know. So far, I like it. I honestly am really liking this and I can't wait to have this sitting on my shelf. I can't wait to get into this. I can't wait to have a castle next to it and put like more goats and add like this that excites me. I think on its own it excites me, but also as like, I can't wait to add my castle stuff to it. You know, I got my um, troubadour who I'm going to add in here. I got my, um, you know, my bard, my jester. I'm going to throw my jester in here. You know, all my goats and my goat herd, you know, add a few goat herders to it. Um, like all these figures, you know, my, my, this, my little, my little cart with the, the hay on it and the peasant that came with this, you know, I'm going to add that to there. So all that stuff I'm going to add into here eventually. And so that's why I really like it. Um, I don't know. It's just such a fun set. I love that they use the horns for chimney smoke. It's a better way to connect it in. Also gives it a wispy feel. Um, I'm loving it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, hit a like button. And don't forget to join tomorrow as we, so we're going to get the first half done of one of the two buildings. I don't actually know which one, whichever one you start with. I'm pretty sure it's the Broken Axin or the Axin. I wanna say Broken Axin so it just makes sense uh, for some reason. Um, no, it, the set doesn't need a Bat Lord and Dragon Invading. We need another set with a Bat Lord and Dragon to invade it with. Um, overall, very happy with this set so far, so we are 50% through this set, so yay! But yeah, if you've enjoyed this stream, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And guys, if you haven't, check out my Alien Conquest video. I absolutely loved working on that one. And we have a ton of content to do. I'm gonna be doing a review on this. I'm gonna be doing an Easter egg video on this. And you know, maybe some shorts about some fun details in it. Compare, and also like, I'm gonna compare the Wolfpack figure to the old one. So there's gonna be review style, and then there's gonna be the Easter egg video. So very excited to get into this with the content stuff, so. Hope to see you guys on the next stream, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye-bye.